Motorola is back in the race. So yes, Samsung, OnePlus, Apple and Xiaomi are for sure on top in terms of experience in launching a reliable max out expensive flagship. But so was Leno Motorola back in 2016-17. The Moto X and Z series was something so powerful and because of innovation it had, they sold more than 3 million Moto Z devices in 2016-17 itself. Yeah, that was iconic. Now awesome news coming in for Motorola fans, Moto Edge X aka Moto Edge 30 Ultra is coming soon and this time they are going all out. Yes, news coming in from Technic, they found out the specifications of Moto Edge X codename Rogue in the firmware of device and guys, it is coming with max out specifications. So if these specifications are right, this is a proper flagship from Motorola after so many years with powerful Snapdragon 898 5G CPU. DCS confirms this news and says after Xiaomi, Moto is gonna launch flagship with 4nm base powerful silicon. So yes, 898 it is and there's Adreno 730 GPU. The thing I love about Motorola is they still use AOSP slash Pixel UI with some Moto gestures and add-ons on top. So this is the pixel you can buy with max out specs and this is 6.7 inch 144Hz 1080p OLED display. These are some leaks sketched from social media Weibo and there is a punch hole on center likely curved display. The camera specs are 50 megapixel main, 50 megapixel super wide, 2 megapixel mono or macro. Fun part is they are using a 60 megapixel front facing selfie shooter. So this of course can shoot 4K videos from front. The other specifications are also nice, Moto Edge X is coming with IP52 rating and on top of this runs A12 out of the box. So I'm expecting pixelish material U UI with no bloatwares or adwares and slight Moto add-ons like chuff or flashlight, twist for camera, this is for sure so exciting. The official teasing is now live, this is the poster of Moto Edge X, we may even see Moto Edge X Pro with higher resolution display and some new changes. But yes, all in all, Motorola is back in the race, Samsung, OnePlus and especially Xiaomi have to pull their best cards to beat this one. See, thing is, the main selling point of this device will be stock UI and of course, its historical iconic brand, Motorola. So your thoughts in the comment section and I'll meet you guys in the next one. Peace out.